In this video, we are going to discuss static keyword in Java. Static keyword we usually use in our Java code for the memory management. Static keyword can be used with a variable, with a function and also with a block. So let us discuss more on this static keyword. Why static keyword is used? The static keyword is basically used for memory management in our Java code and you can apply static keyword along with the variables, functions and blocks etc. So let us go for them uh, individual discussion. When a variable is static, it acts like a class variable. For the multiple number of objects, only one memory space will be occupied against the static variable. When you define one static variable within the class, then it will become a class variable. Means that irrespective of the number of objects I'm going to create, going to define under the class, this static variable will have a single instance in the computer's memory. So that means it is behaving as if it is a class variable. And that is a very special feature here. Static methods. So static methods can be called without creating an object under the class. So without defining any object under the class, I can use the static method using the class name dot operator. So static me methods can access the static members of the class only. So static methods can access only the static members of the class. Non-static members are not accessible from the static method. A normal method cannot access the static members of a class. So these are the respective features with the static keyword. So let us go for one practical demonstration on this for the better understanding. In this demonstration, we shall discuss the keyword static in our Java programming. Now what is the static keyword? So here we are having one class, the name of the class is static demo and it is having int static var. So there is one variable and this variable is of type static. And this is another variable which is a non-static that is int var. So static variable we have defined as static var of type int and non-static variable we have defined as var of the type int. So this is the constructor which will initialize the uh, non-static variable var which is which will be equal to 0. Next one. Here we have defined another static method. Here we have defined one static variable. Here we have defined the static method. So public static void set static var int x and this x will be assigned to this static var that is a static variable. So always remember in case of static method they can access only the static variables non-static variables cannot be accessed from here. So if I want to write this one as a var, uh, say is equal to 100, if I write here, so it is having one error message is coming and that error message is telling that cannot make a static reference to the non-static field var. So that is the that is the error message we are getting because non-static method cannot access, uh, static method cannot access non-static variables. So that is very important. Next method is known as the increase. This method will increase the value of the static var by 1 and also value of the non-static var that is var as 1. So in this way, two variables have got increased here. So we have got one lesson that static method can access only the static variables but non-static method can access both the static and non-static variables. Next one is the display which will print the current value of static var and the current value of var as well. So now here we are defining the class that is the keyword static which name is same as that of the uh, file name here. So under this particular keyword static we are defining the main function, we are defining two demo static objects that is the st1 and st2. They are defined under the class demo static and instantiated with the constructor and the new keyword. So here we are having this st1 dot increase st1 dot increase so two times the static variable will be increased here always remember so irrespective of the number of objects we are going to define under the class here is static demo only one instance of the static variable will be defined here so only one instance of the static variable so this static var will be defined once only irrespective of the number of objects we are going to define under this uh, class that is the static demo. As a result of that st1 when it is increasing the static var by 1 then same same uh, increase function will when will be called from the st2 it will it will be also increasing 
the same static bar by one but as the bar is a non static variable so it will have a two separate instance with respect to st1 and sp2 separately so as a result of that when we are calling this st1 dot increase the bar which is getting increased two times because we have called this uh, this function increase twice so this instance will be totally different from this st2 dot bar when we are calling this increase for three times so another new instance of var will remain created against this st2 object and that will get increased for three times so i think now the conception will be cleared if i go for the execution so the value of the static variable is 2 and value of the non static variable is 2 here because here we have called this st1 dot increase two times so the static and the non static both the variables have got increased by 1 and 1 and initially their values were 0 here because we have initialized this one as 0 and automatically the static bar will be instantiated with the value 0 it will be initialized with the value 0 initially so st1 dot display is displaying that both the variables are having a value 2 and 2 now from this st2 this increase function has got called thrice so the static variable will get increased starting from 2 so 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 but this bar will have will be having a separate instance for the new object st2 so it will be increased from 0 to 1 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 as a result of that when we are going for st2 dot display we are finding that the static variable is having the value 5 and the non static variable bar is having the value 3 here here we are having the set static bar so here we are putting this 50 and 50 will be assigned to this static bar variable so if i print this particular variable we can we can have this one as 50 you can find that we are having this one as 50 so this this particular method static method has been accessed from the class name directly from the class name directly it can be accessed and this static variable can be accessed from the class name now if i use this one as st1 if i use this one as st1 and also here as st1 you can find that the, they are executable and we are getting this same output here static variable without object is 50 so now if i call it from the st2 also they are accessible because they are static so irrespective of the number of objects we are defining under the class the static demo these uh, two static members variables and methods will have a single instance in the computer's memory and they can be accessed either using object name dot or using class name dot directly so in this way we have shown you that how what is the static how to use the static keyword in our java code we're going to get the same output here thanks for watching this video